Hello friends. In my previous video, I have seen a lot of comments, describing the issues about the phone registration process. So, I have made some changes in the code, to resolve the issues related to the phone registration process. First, here you can see the phone length variable. You will have to set the correct phone number length here. In my country the phone number length is 13 digits. But in other countries it might be different. So make sure, you must have entered the correct phone number length, in this phone length variable. Now if you open the serial monitor. You will see the list of registered phone numbers. The list might be empty, or there might be some wrong data already stored on it. If this is the case, then you are required to clean the list. You just use clear command. The command must be in lowercase letters. This command will clean the phone numbers list, from the EEPROM memory. Here you can see, the phone numbers list is now empty. So the project is ready for phone registration process. I have also created a separate file, clearepro.ino. You can also use it to clean the phone numbers list. Next, before registering the phone number, we will send the command to turn on the first relay. We still get a feedback even if we did not register the phone number. So here you can see, an error message is received as a feedback. Please register your phone number first. Next, we will send the R command, to register the admin phone number with the project. Here you can see, my phone number is now registered as admin phone number. Now we will send the R command again, just for testing. And we will wait for the feedback. This time you can see the error message, admin phone number is failed to register. This is because, we have already registered the phone number. So, to register a new phone number as admin phone, you need to clean the phone numbers list. You can use del equals all command. This command will delete all the phone numbers, from the EEPROM memory. Next, R2 command will be used to register second phone number. Make sure, phone number length must be the same, as we have defined in the code. If the length will different, then you will see the error message like this, the phone number must be 13 digits long. Now, we will send the R2 command again. This time I have used the correct phone length. Here you can see, the phone number is now registered successfully. This way you can register up to 5 phone numbers. Next, to control a relay, first type relay number, and then type the on or off command. This command will turn on the relay number 1. The same way you can turn on and off any relay. If you accidentally send the wrong command, you will still get a response on your mobile phone. Here you can see the feedback as unknown command. I have also add the push buttons here to control the relays manually. Next, the status of the relays will be stored in the EEPROM memory. So, if you reset the Arduino, or else if you power it up anytime, then the last status of the relays will be loaded automatically. Here you can see the list of all the commands, used in this project. Next, I have also made some changes in the wiring diagram. Like, here I have connected the reset pin of SIM 800L, to Arduino pin 4. I have also added the push buttons here, to make this project more useful. Next, let's have a look at the code. You can download the code from my GitHub account. I have tried to keep the code as simple as possible. And this code is much more reliable than my previous codes. Here in the setup function, I have called reset sim 800L function. This function tries to connect to the sim 800L. And if it fail to connect, then it will show an error message, in the serial monitor. Next below. Here I am displaying the phone numbers list, in the serial monitor. Next, let's go to the loop function. Here, this if condition constantly checks for an incoming SMS. And when a new SMS is received, then it get the caller ID from the SMS, and then store it in this caller ID variable. Similarly, it also get the SMS content, and store it in this command variable. Next. If the command is equals to R, then this block of code will execute. And it will register the caller ID with the project.
So, if you face issue while using R command, then you can use this code block to find out the issue. Next below, this block of code handles all the commands that are sent by the mobile phone. First, it will compare the caller ID of the SMS with the phone numbers stored in the EEPROM. If the caller ID is matched with any phone number in the EEPROM, then this do action function is called. And this function will handle all the commands that you will send from your mobile phone. Like turning on or off a relay. Register phone number with the project. Delete a phone number from the EEPROM. And if there is an incorrect command, then it will send an error message on your mobile phone. Next below, you can see lot of functions here. These are the helper functions. And they are used in the do action function to perform a specific task. Next, you just upload the code to the Arduino and test it yourself. If you face any issue, then let me know in the comment box. I will try to solve it. Bye.